Hello, today we are looking at a recent trade to the Harrelson Trumpets shop. I'm here in Minneapolis with a Summit Trumpet that was built in 2009. And 2009 was one of the early years for the Summit line. It was before I started machining tuning slides out of solid brass. So this is a bent tube elliptical tuning slide. And this was about the period of time where I was experimenting with different shapes before I settled on the shape that we use on all summer trumpets today. Um, a lot of you wonder why the tuning slide would be elliptical. There's a lot of rumor that maybe we were trying to uh, copy another company. That's not really the case. If you look at the SWE tuning slide on our summer trumpets, uh, the tuning slide itself is symmetrical and you have the most impedance change right at the, the crook. And the rest of it is very even to that point. What that means is that our bodies feel pressure changes, and as you play higher and lower on the instrument, uh, the shape of our tuning slide was designed so that you, as a human being, can remember the feeling of sliding different notes in all registers more evenly. It's more easy to, to slot different notes um, with that shape of tuning slide. And that comes down to one word, which is impedance. And I'm not going to bore you with a long explanation, but just know there is a scientific reason behind that. This horn has sculpted trim kit with purple power inlays, really cool looking inlays. Uh, they're slightly domed, they feel really nice under your fingers. It has the old style summit receiver, again sculpted, and uh, the finger rings are all sculpted as well. Sculpted finger rings feel just fine on your fingers because the insides are smooth and they don't really touch the outsides. Even if I did, they're not that rough. And uh, this on the, the top racing is also sculpted. And this horn was I have to find it here. Was built with Lee Pipe 2 and Bell 7. And it also has a little star on it, which means that this horn is actually a horn that I probably played personally for a while, uh, because I always mark them with a little star or a fleur de lis. So, this was one of my personal horns at one point. And um, it has the Mod 3 finger buttons, so they're taller, which means you don't have to push your fingers down quite as far. So they're a little faster. The valves feel really tight and really smooth. The uh, slides, oh there, that's, the, uh, the slides are extremely smooth. And uh, let's check the tuning slide here. The tuning slide is pretty nice, it could use a little grease. We literally just pulled it out of the box as a trade yesterday. Enough talking, I'll play a few notes on it. It has a really big, broad tone. The number seven bell is really warm and it spreads out pretty evenly to the room. I would play towards the camera, but it'll probably distort. I'm going to play a little soft allow. It's very stable. For a horn that was pre-AGR receiver and a pre-tuning slide, the SWE tuning slide, this really is a fine instrument. Um, I'm going to play it once with a 5mm. This one is set up to be a little more focused. It's a great horn. Uh, that's a high F. It just sounds as solid as a low F. Uh, so we have this horn, I believe, on trade, and we're just going to sell it for whatever the trade value was. It's an amazing deal. If you're looking for a trumpet that's going to you know, really be much better than any standard factory horn, this horn is cheaper than a new factory horn. 
and it's going to outplay them for probably 50 years. So, grab it while you can, and thanks for watching.